Hello world, lockpicking dev. Today we're going to try to impression a master number one. I already have my key blank and the handle, rubber bands handle, very nice handle. Uh, file ready, key decoder over here. Let's get moving. Mark each of our spots there. Let's double check it. Turn it. Make a good turn there. We got plenty of binding force there. Okay. And I see our marks. Okay. Let's go ahead and it's like. Like number one right there. Not actually, that was dirt. There it is. Nope, that was dirt as well. Let's do this again. There we go. I see number two. Yeah, good mark on two. So let's go for that one. Mark on one. So let's go ahead and. Number one I might have a mark on it. Check it out. I see a little bit of a mark. Number two, I can see. Let's check under our loop. I can see one and two. Two looks more pronounced. We're gonna do number two. Let's do a soft stroke on one, just a get rid of that little mark that I saw there previously. Looks like pin number two again. There's dirt on here. Let's make sure to clean that off first. Yep. And I have it on this metal file just because it the way the handle rests, it rests perfectly on the Sparrows logo and the key rests in the file right here, so I'm not adding any extra force to the key, risking bending it and breaking it sooner. I see two's getting kind of deep there, so three will probably most likely have to come down a bit at some point. Like pin one. Yep.
four possibly. Yeah, C mark on four. Not a good enough one on two or one. Yep, let's hit pin four. I like using a cloth because it catches on all the extra metal shavings there. I think I'm going to try to get some, it's not obvious, so yeah, I'm actually going to doing it slow because I'm trying to keep my file nice and straight there. Same height now. Here's our progress. We're almost getting close to all the way down. So we take our key decoder here. These are, yeah, getting close to bottom there. Doesn't look like we have some movement though. mark on one mark on one again. I see a little mark on two. So we almost got a, a kill key here. So I have no doubt that pin 3 is going to have to come down at some point. Just not sending any marks for it though. I 
Actually, it looks like there's a mark there now. So let's do that. And instead of doing my round file, I'm actually going to do my flat file. Reason being, because it's going to end up at the same point of four, and I'd rather have a flat surface to see more marks with. Because the ridges there can hide things and make it harder to see. it so Mark. See a little dot on four there. It ain't big enough yet. R3 is marking better, so let's stick with that. Time for in four. are open. So master number one and we want to of course when we're we got our open let's do make sure we do our cleanup. So I'm actually going to stick it back in here clamp it up a little bit again and 
Do a little jiggle. See if there's anything I need to clean up. And it looks like pin three. Yep. You can actually see if I can get that to focus there. Or maybe if I zoom in a little bit. See that nice shiny mark on pin three right there. That's why I forgot it turned. It'll leave a nice mark on it because it'll be in the core. So let's go ahead and clean that up. Turn the light off. I'm gonna do two marks. Get the brass off there. There we go. Perfectly smooth working key now. So, put that in. It's locked. Here is our bedding. Perfectly smooth working key. There we are, everyone. That is impressioning a master number one. And if you're curious what tools I use, it's just a typical impressionist. Uh, I think a pippin number four handle. Um, you have a loop, a little magnifying lamp that I use occasionally. This is a MB, MBA USA impressioning magnifying lens. It's awesome. You stick it on the end of a two inch mag light and you stick your key. You can see on this side right here, you should, your key goes right in that groove and you look through the top right there. You turn it on and oh, there we go. It actually seems really good. There we go. Let's see, you can see the marks that way. Yeah, this thing is awesome. I highly recommend one of these things. This is really cool. And then, of course, our key decoder card, in which you saw I didn't use too much of it. Uh, I discovered master number three, three strokes, or master locks three strokes, and I go down a, a down a notch, which is good. But uh, Deviant's key decoder card here is amazing for impressioning. Anyways, all right, everyone. Again, impressioning a master number one. Thanks for watching.